the, the YouTube video of the cheeseburger and fries. Have you seen that no. on YouTube? Is somebody carrying us. around a lunchbox with a four-year-old, you, you know, your viewers can check it on YouTube. I think mm -hmm. you could just Google cheeseburger, go to YouTube, and, and you'll find this four-year-old cheeseburger that, I swear to God, looks like it's a day old. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's no mold. Like, and we've all had this. We've all, we've all eaten the fries, and you found them in your car weeks later. <laughs> and you go, well, that could be a couple days old or it could be oh. weeks old because they don't look a lot different. Uh -huh. Don't tell me you've not done that. No, I've never. Done, you've I'm never sorry. lost a French fry in your car. I am, my mother was very, very picky about Good food on you. the floor. Good so, for you. Yes. Good for you. Mm -hmm. um, so you do have to eat more in their natural state foods. Mm -hmm. And in a supermarket, where are they? On the outside. On the outside because mm -hmm. that's where the refrigeration is. Mm -hmm. So that's where all the fresh stuff is, all the, all the fresh fruit, all the, all the refrigerated stuff that is going bad if it's not kept refrigerated. That's what's good for you. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some things you have to learn on top of that. Sure. But in general, the stuff in the middle of the store that's been bleached, processed, and they say they put the vitamins back in, mm -hmm. not so much. Yeah. <laughs> so fresh fruits, organic, and uh, all of those things. And, and on top of it, you can't, you literally cannot get your vitamins from your diet anymore. You can't. You have to take a supplement. Right, because Be the nutrition is out of all of our food. Because of the way we farm. It happens before it, before it gets processed now. Okay. Because of the way we grow our food. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not a farmer, and I don't, I don't understand well, this. But from I know a lot of people are going to growing their own gardens now, and they are going organic because of the actual nutrition. Right, because you know? at the farm now you got, you know, you put down the herbicides and the pesticides and all of the... All of the uh, fertilizer, the nitrogen fertilizer, to grow the stuff. And you right. grow the same stuff mm -hmm. because we don't do crop rotation like, like you're supposed to to restore that naturally. So you grow the same stuff. And I think the government came out in 1936 and pointed out that you can't get enough zinc in your diet, no matter what you eat, because of how we farm. Oh. So it doesn't matter where it is in the store anymore. It, this happened before it got to the store, before it got processed, because of the farming practices, because of, you know, agriculture in large farms and that's just the way it's done here so because of that and then since then they've added selenium they've added uh, folic acid as you know you can't get enough calcium um, so for that reason you do have to take supplements there's mm -hmm. just no way around it you know I, I well I take supplements just because I'm not the best eater in the world I right and, to, and, and, and that's, it, that's exactly what it's for it's mm -hmm. to supplement your diet right that's why they call them that because you, we're not you know, you're busy, I'm busy. We don't necessarily eat, you know, the, you know, fruit and veggies in the morning and then more veggies and then some protein in the afternoon. We don't right. eat that way. We eat what's, you know, a little bit more convenient. You have toast and that, you know, unless you made that bread yourself and that's all the, you know, whole grain. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, honestly, I don't even do that. It's very hard to do that. We mm -hmm. do as well as we can. We shop organic. We, we get as well as we can. But still, you know, even doing that, you know, recognize that from the farming standpoint, you don't have enough mm -hmm. from, you know, if you're going to have, uh, you know, even I have got, you know, some jam, some patient made me and, and the, the best bread you can buy. But recognize now that because of where that grain came from, that's depleted to some degree. Right. So I, I take supplements. I know I use wheat flour instead of mm -hmm. the bleach. You know, right. Just little things that I try to do. Yeah. You know, for but, my family. But even doing all that, mm -hmm. because of where did that wheat come from? The same farm. wheat field that's been growing on for years and years right, and years, yeah. um, and and again, I'm not a farmer. I don't mm -hmm. I don't know the details of that. I I do understand, however, that there's no way that that because of where we because of where the food gets shipped from because some of this stuff was picked, you know, weeks earlier and has been shipped here that it doesn't have the nutrients that if you were actually at the tree mm -hmm. picking it and it were ripened down the tree it doesn't have those nutrients that you know. The creator intended for us to eat. Right, exactly. So supplement, exactly. Mm -hmm. Something to lean on, something to finish, something to add. And, but that's easy to do. You just pop a pill. And we're such a pill taker society now. You know, for most people sense. it is. But mm -hmm. but interestingly, I, I have a lot of elderly who come in who, who have them little boxes of what, all the drugs they take. Oh. But if you ask them what, what they vitamins are? they take, well, I don't take any vitamins. They don't know. They don't know this stuff. They don't know that omega-3s. They don't know you know, vitamin D in, in the flu. And, and really, you know, that's the main thing with the flu is vitamin D and right. influenza and vitamin D are inversely related. That, right. You know. And we see a little bit more of it in Minnesota mm -hmm. versus California or down in Florida where the sun's out so much more. Right. Because once Which is we why there's a flu season. Mm -hmm. And exactly. the flu season is when the sunshine is less. less. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So. Our fall season as we know it in Minnesota. R right, mm -hmm. right. So, um, yeah, and in fact, there's research to show that if you have a 30% normal level of vitamin D, you are 20% more likely to get the flu. If you have a 20% normal level of vitamin D, you're like 50% more likely to get the flu than the next guy. 10%, mm -hmm. you're like 200%. It, it's, it's absolutely inversely proportional. So vitamin D, that one little thing right there, mm -hmm. <laughs> will help you. You could do that and, mm -hmm. and say, I'm, I'm good with the flu. Okay. You know, if you just added vitamin D to your world. Wow. So that, that, that alone would be fabulous. But, oh yeah, one more thing, you mentioned uh, uh, you, you take supplements. Mm -hmm. You have to also look at the form that the supplements are in. Okay, but, but really make sure that you look at the ingredients, you know, of what is actually in there and compare. You can yeah, compare you, you have to look at, you know, get a yeah. good quality. If you're going to be, mm -hmm. you know, um, disciplined enough to take a vitamin every right. day, well, treat yourself to a good vitamin, you mm -hmm. know, go get one. And sadly, they're big. Yeah. Good vitamins are big. Mm -hmm. So y you got to take a good vitamin. So yeah, well, we have smart viewers out here, so, you know, they know enough to go ahead and look at the ingredients in the back, and they can judge for themselves. But you can't themselves. get it off. I'll just give you a simple example. Calcium. Mm -hmm. Calcium is a metal. And, and, and here I will pick on a, on a company because, you know, they use this phrase, too. Tums has calcium, something your body needs anyway. That's mm -hmm. their phrase. They've used that for decades. Right. They are absolutely safe and correct in saying that. Instead of drinking milk or... No. You can't get the calcium from Tums, mm -hmm. and everybody knows it. It's in a form that stays in your GI tract to buffer your acid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in a form that cannot be absorbed. Now, Tums, the people who sell Tums, they've never said you get to absorb it. They say Tums has calcium, something your body needs anyway. Right. But you don't get to absorb it. But I have people come in saying they're taking, saying they're taking, uh, taking uh, Tums for their, for their uh, calcium. Mm-hmm. But it's a complete misnomer. It's completely mistaken. You cannot get your calcium from Tums. So it's not so easy. It's really difficult. So you have to go to somebody knowledgeable to help figure that out. Um, thank you again, Dr. Barrett. I appreciate this. And for our viewers, to let them know all of this great information on nutrition. Please be sure to tune in again to other shows of Knowledge for Wellness to enhance your overall understanding. And visit my website at www.knowledgeforwellness.com. Click on the custom, and then it will take you to the page which will locate your time and channel for Knowledge for Wellness. So I hope we have provided you with more knowledge to benefit you and your loved ones. Until next time, be well, and goodbye.